What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with episode 180 of Room Tour Project, the series where we show off some of the best setups to give you some ideas and inspirations for your own setup. And this week is a budget edition, and we're gonna have the special Razor Rescue giveaway going on. Last month, I asked you guys to submit your setup of need in order to pretty much win tons of new peripherals and Razor gear, so hope you guys are pumped for this. If you see anything you like, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out. But let's start off the budget edition. First, we have Ayato with his laptop setup here, making the most out of the single setup display with some Pokemon figures and stuff on the right. Powering everything is his Acer Travelmate P248M inside an Intel i3 6100 CPU with four gigs of RAM and a terabyte of hard drive space. No details on the actual, you know, graphics and stuff. And that is then hooked up to an HP 18 and a half inch monitor. Now into the peripherals, we have a Raksari illuminated LED keyboard with a Fantech X9 Thor mouse, a Fantech HG 15 Captain headset, and the Fantech Health Screen GS201 speaker setup. So these are obviously cheaper brands overseas. And he's kind of using that one box figure as a headset stand. So just a nice little bedroom setup here in the corner of the room. Nothing too fancy, obviously. The essentials for what he needs using all the budget components to really make his laptop into his desk setup. Now we've got Sean J with a unique kind of desk shelf hybrid for the bedroom desk setup, going with the single monitor display and some simple RGB lighting around it to bring out the reds in his primarily red colored setup. So for his monitor, it is an E-Machine 19 inch. That bad boy is definitely looking dated. And for his peripherals, he has a combo from CyberPower for the mouse and keyboard and the Koshin headset, I don't even, E-O-C-H. So definite budget options in the CyberPower mouse and keyboard are pretty much bundled with the CyberPower pre-built gaming PC that he picked up. So again, saving money even there. Inside's an AMD FX 4300 CPU with 8 gigs of RAM and a GeForce GT 730 graphics card. So as you guys can see and tell, a dated PC and a dated setup which is in need of some, you know, uplifting Hence the budget edition Razor Rescue, but all together, you know, for being what it is, with very limited space in this desk shelf, he pulled it all together, built this setup, and I think the addition, you know, again, of a cheap $15 RGB light strip really took the setup to the next level to bring out the reds, so definitely a nice budget setup. Now for me, Antonio, this is kind of going to be on more of the higher end of the budget criteria. It's always hard doing these episodes because everyone's definition of budget is different. Some people can build a setup for under a thousand, under 500. Some people can't even afford, you know, a gaming mouse. Then they'll yell at me saying, no, none of this is budget. Yes, is how they sound in my head. Anyways, this one's kind of right at that brink there, and it's a very limited desk space. It looks like it's two kind of separate pieces, like an end table and a, I don't know. It's very limited is what it is. And for his monitor, he picked up a refurbished Insignia 24 inch display. So again, saving money, buying it refurbished. And it's got the headphones on there, kind of acting as like a hanger. And that is the Corsair HS60 headset. And to the rest of his peripherals, we have the Tech Bean Rainbow LED keyboard, so that's a static color, they don't change, with the PicTech Wired Gaming Mouse. And I can't imagine this is very comfortable at all. It's gotta be really cramped with your wrists, like, butting right up against the edges of the inside of the desk, and I don't know how you do with your DPI, with the, just smashing your wrist, I, I don't know, man. That'll definitely be a point to upgrade for you down the line. Now over to the PC, this is the Fantex P400 case inside the Intel i7 6700K CPU with the Cooler Master Hyper 212X cooler, 16 gigs of RAM, and a GTX 1060 graphics card. So again, this is definitely kind of pushing the limit what I would consider a budget. Um, I would... I wouldn't consider anything over a 1060 a budget GPU since this, this one for the price and performance is right at that sweet spot. Uh, yes, an i7 is kind of overkill for budget, but everything considered, I would still call this a budget setup. Done nicely, I'll definitely say that. It's a nice little space, but you gotta upgrade that desk, my man. 
Now, Dr. Kev, this one's more on the clean, you know, that minimal side. A very organized space, which I can definitely appreciate that. Also going with the single monitor, this is a 24 inch display from Samsung. Got it mounted on a little bracket off to the side with a nice light shirt behind the desk, color blue, making the clouds wallpaper kind of pop just a little bit more. Gotta say I'm a fan of that light matte gray wall and the tessellated figures of like the map um, mounted above the setup, which you can see kind of there in the first photo, nice little touch. Now over to the peripherals, we have an Aki mechanical keyboard, a TKL. These are always budget friendly with the Corsair Harpoon mouse on a Rocket Taito control mouse pad. And again, keeping it all organized. Got the cables routed nicely with the mouse keyboard and mouse pad coming to around $75 total for the trio. And then for his headset, he's rocking the HyperX Cloud 2, which is the more expensive item in his peripheral lineup, but it's a quality product at that, so you're putting the money in the right places. And some other stuff, you know, kept nicely in a drawer underneath the desk. Now over to the PC, a nice looking build off to the right side. We have a Sharkoon M25W case with an Intel i5 4670K CPU with an Alpenphone Ben Navis cooler. We got eight gigs of HyperX Fury RAM and the graphics card the Sapphire R9 280X three gig version. These are often found on Amazon or eBay for around hundred bucks used. So not bad pricing at all. So Dr. Kev really digging this really minimal, clean and organized setup from head to toe. You gotta appreciate the dedication that went into putting a lot of thought into this. It may not have seven 4K TVs mounted on the wall and it doesn't need that but it still has an identity which I can appreciate. Then last but not least is Carl. Carl D with the laptop and console setup in the bedroom with again, some RGB lights to make those blues come out to match the wallpaper here. And nothing says saving some money than what looks like using those tin planters as a desk riser. I could be wrong, might not be that, but if it is, that's some creativity. So this is a 32 inch Samsung LED TV. Got his laptop hooked up to this. You can see the Xbox One in front of it as well for some console gaming. Now, as for that laptop, it is a Toshiba Satellite S55A with an Intel i7 4700 CPU, eight gigs of RAM, and an NVIDIA GT 740M graphics card. Uses this for some light gaming, music production and stuff. Then down to his peripherals with a wireless Logitech K400 keyboard with Logitech M510 wireless mouse with the Turtle Beach Ear Force Recon headset again for both console and the laptop. So the dual multi-purpose setup here in the bedroom, a smaller desk space definitely, some budget peripherals and budget gear, but for the desk space as it is, he makes it work. Can extend the laptop screen to the TV, unplug it, get some Xbox gaming going on, stream right from here, a practical budget setup from Carl. Carl! And the winner of the Razor Rescue giveaway is Sean with his budget theme setup. We had 86 Gleam pages of submissions, and believe it or not, about 95% of them were rejected because people didn't follow instructions. So we still had close to 300 individual setups we had to go through and pick. We picked five finalists, and then the winner was chosen at random. So again, congrats to Sean. And if you guys want to see more of this kind of stuff in the future, let me know by hitting that thumbs up button down below and dropping your thoughts on how we could, you know, do some more giveaways and stuff with setups. But that'll wrap it up for episode 180 of Room Tour Project, the special budget edition. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, yeah. Like I said before, if you see anything you like, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out, as well as some very simple instructions on how to submit your setup. If you want to be possibly considered on a future episode of Room Tour Project, check the links down below for it all. Well, I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.